church today? Well, maybe about two minutes, but I still made the opening hymn. So right now we have nothing to do, so my dad and I are just going to uh, take the car and go anywhere. We don't really have any destination at all. We'll see how it turns out. You've never seen me use this backdrop before, but that's because I'm out here in, uh, well, well, we ended up in Pacifica, and, uh, you know, just to take a quick walk, take a quick look. Um, so today, I want to talk a little bit about Independence Day, July 4th. Um, now, I think that July 4th is one of the less important holidays uh, in, you know, all the holidays we have here, because uh, the people who celebrate it is actually... I mean, the, the groups of people celebrated are actually quite restricted. It's really restricted to Americans. So, you know, you could say that the meaning is less profound or widespread. But I still think that on this day, it's important to kind of think about, you know, uh, uh, some of our American values uh, that, you know, uh, were originally established, why this country was founded, so on and so forth. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with... Uh, uh, liberalism with a capital L being able to govern ourselves uh, in a way and uh, that's one of the things I really like uh, about our country is that we have a lot of uh, freedoms that uh, obviously a lot of people do, uh, uh, elsewhere don't uh, get to enjoy. got some food over at that Korean supermarket because um, on the way back I kind of almost fell asleep several times behind the wheel. That's what, get, that's what you get when you get like six hours of sleep the previous night. So after getting home and eating something um, that I bought there, uh, I listened, I started to listen to an, the new episode of Radio Lab entitled Oops. Fascinating stuff of course as always. Uh, and I fell asleep. And I just realized how much a, a Sunday nap can make you forget. But um, tonight I'm actually going to be doing something for July 4th instead of uh, nothing as I previously expected. But, um... Ah. Alright, we'll see. I'll bring this guy along. We'll see uh, what we can make of it. Oh, I'm really tired. It's been over 40 minutes since I got up. But I'm still pretty... Uh, I don't know, groggy. I must have been waking up, like, uh, in the middle of REM or something. Thank you. I need to get some more continuous nights. Starting to uh, resolution. Hold me to it. Star Spangled Banner. Star Spangled Banner. No, wrong thing. Treason, treason, treason. Do you know what she was saying? No. Chinese national anthem. It was a communist one, so that's like traitor. <laughs> this is a slow exit off the freeway. Hopefully the fireworks will be worth it. We're inside the Costco parking lot and even that's full. We'll probably have to watch from the car. It's more than full. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, this camera isn't too bad. Uh.
<laughs> and of course, all the uh, car alarms go off. <laughs> oh, hey everyone, it's getting late, and uh, today was a pretty fun day. I spent the first half of my day with my dad and the last part with my mom. So um, I'd just like to close right now by saying what my favorite thing about the United States is. And I think it um, really has to do with kind of the modern American culture and society that's developed. So uh, I have to say that my favorite thing about the U.S. is that uh, people can choose to be virtually anyone they want to be. They have a lot of freedom of choice, and that is um, kind of important because for a developed country, you need to give people freedoms, uh, not just to keep them happy, but uh, also to sort of, uh, you know, just allow people to, uh, to be who they want to be, kind of a humanistic view. All right, uh, so there's some more celebrating to be done tomorrow. I have to, I'm going to like a family sort of barbecue sort of thing tomorrow. Uh, so uh, everyone, I'll see you uh, later. Wow, I'm tired.